Are you one of those people who is afraid that you're going to run out of money in retirement? You're not alone and you're in the right place. I'm Ann Babiars and this is Wait a Financial Minute. I'm joined by a retired attorney, Michael A. Babiars, and he is going to help us sort this issue out. Welcome to the show, Michael. Well, it sounds to me like what we've got here in our burning question is a lopsided stool, simple case. I mean, we all remember the metaphor of the three-legged stool as being the guidepost for retirement planning, right? One leg of that stool being Social Security, one leg being private savings, and one leg originally being pensions, now being replaced by things like 401ks and IRAs. And one of the areas that people have ironically the most fear over is the one they can't control and that's social security and it doesn't help that there's a lot of what i would call fear mongering sometimes in things we read that says social security is going broke and of course that's not true there is a situation coming up with social security where somewhere around 2032, 2033, the lines on the graph are gonna cross. And what that means is the system isn't taking in as much money as it'll be paying out. It's not broke, it's simply not covering the outflow with the inflow. Now, there are solutions to this. They are fairly simple actuarially. They apparently are very complex politically because they need to have our elected leaders in in Washington address the situation. But there's four ways that Social Security can be made whole. And some combination of one of these, one or more of these four would do the trick. We've already raised the retirement age. We can gradually raise it again. That would certainly help. We could raise the amount of tax paid either on the employer side or the employee side. That might help we can raise the cap on earnings or lift it off altogether. Right now, earnings are capped for paying into Social Security a certain dollar amount of salary. If we remove that, that helps too. Or one that's not discussed very often is the reason Social Security has to have a balance sheet is because it was set up that way legislatively. We could either make Social Security part of the regular budget, and as we know, the federal government runs a deficit almost every year, So what difference would it make if Social Security was simply part of that deficit? Or we could give Social Security the the power to borrow just like the Treasury does and let them issue debt instruments to cover it. So there's a lot of different ways to solve the problem. And one of the things that, and again, this is in my humble opinion, that I feel is that, uh, of course, a fifth way to solve the problem would be to cut the benefits come 2032, 2033. I think that is politically the most unpalatable solution of all. And I see that as a very doubtful approach. So if you have fears over a lopsided stool and then that fear is primarily derived from Social Security not being there, I don't think that that's a very realistic fear to be waking you up at three o'clock in the morning. So you don't think people should be buying the other two legs off their stool to make them shorter? To even them out? No, probably not. Probably we need to, uh, we need to actually talk, and this will be on maybe another episode, teaser, that I think there should actually be four legs, and it should be a chair and not a stool, but enough set. I love that. I love that. Well, would you mind sharing a little bit about your background with our audience? Well, I... Of course, because people might wonder, who's this talking head blathering on about Social Security, right? What the heck does he know? Well, you mentioned I was a retired attorney. Let me tell you about where I practiced when I was in private practice, which I did for 25 plus years in the suburbs of Chicago. I did a lot of estate planning, which involves a lot of tax planning, estate administration, asset protection planning, corporate and business law, elder law, where I dealt with a lot of retirement issues for people approaching that next chapter of life or entering it. In addition, I did a lot of teaching, everything from as a professor at a local college to adult education to this very day, I still create and teach courses 
and do corporate training. So although I don't practice law anymore, don't meet with clients, don't give legal advice, I still do teach, I can educate, I can draw on my background and my experience to help folks. Hopefully the little tidbit we gave them today will be of a little bit of help to them and make them sleep a little bit better at night. Well, thank you for that. And I want the audience to know that if you're interested in, in taking a course on this to make yourself better informed, there's a link to the Protect Yourself and Your Assets course below. And if you loved our video, please hit the like button, um, subscribe to our page, and ring that bell so that you get further episodes because I know you want to know all about the fourth leg to that stool, which will become a chair instead of a stool because it will have a fourth leg. So anyway, thank you again and uh, have a wonderful day.